Good morning, Aline Academy. It's Mrs. Ruth. Um, I hope you're all well and enjoying your spring break. I just want to talk you through this morning how to access Microsoft Teams, which will be uh, secondary students' one-stop shop for all of your online learning needs. It will be where you can chat to other people in your class, ask your teacher questions, find your assignments and be signposted to all learning resources and materials that you may need to complete any set tasks of learning. So, year seven through to 13, you should all be able to access Microsoft Teams. We tried to test run as many as we could before we actually broke for the spring break. So I'm just gonna talk you through very quickly how to log on and the functionality of the portal. So, first thing to do is open up Teams. Now on any home computer, any home device, log in using this URL link just here, okay? Remember that you're gonna need your school email address and it ends at aldaracademies.net. If you can't remember your email address, every single one of your te teachers has got an Excel spreadsheet with all login details for all students in secondary. So just contact your tutor or your class teacher, and they'll be able to help you. You'll be taken to the Aldar login page. Enter your password just in here. Office 365, homepage should load and you can access all Microsoft applications from this point here. Now you're all probably very used to using the OneDrive and OneNote because I know that you will use it in ICT definitely in year seven, eight and nine. But we're gonna ask you to load up the Teams icon here. Okay, so you just click onto Teams. What that does is it opens up your platform just now and it opens in a web page for you. In all of the space here, you will have all of your classes from English through to PE. Um, every single lesson that you would normally have on your timetable will be loaded with resources on this page here for you, okay? We've asked the teachers to label them very clearly for you. So it will simply just say English, maths. You'll be added to all of the appropriate classes and have access to all resources. So the post section, is just here. This is an example of what it looks like. Now, the functions that we will be using will be posts, files and assignments and they'll be seen at the top of the page just here. And the first section you'll see when you log in is the one labelled posts. Now, this is the section that you can ask questions and you can see all of the activity for your class. We do ask that you keep your chats to a minimum and that you also utilize this chat space for all things associated with the learning in that particular class. The teacher can disable the function, but we want to keep it as open as possible to keep you all as connected as possible because um, it's, it's vital that you don't feel cut off and it's vital that you still feel part of the learning community as much as physically possible in this um, distance learning program. So. Utilize it and talk as you would normally in the class um, and hopefully that will work and be very, very beneficial for you. Notifications will pop up on the post section as well. So keep an eye out for anything you're being directed towards. File section. This is the repository of static information. So it will be all of your resources, your materials. There may well also be directions to YouTube and various clips that you can access and watch to enhance your learning. Um, teachers from the 22nd will also be uploading short video clips which are instructional that will be related to topics, um, sections that maybe you didn't understand and a further explanation. And there will be times we're hoping where we can get you to log in and actually have a virtual classroom learning environment, especially for Key Stage 4 and 5 who have got upcoming exams very shortly. So this is where all the resources will be filed. What we're gonna suggest is that you download any documents that you may need to complete and save them in your own domain. Some of the material is editable because we want you to be able to collaborate. However, the main one on um, the portal needs to remain blank so that other people can download. So just be mindful that you don't edit over the top and make sure you download your own copies and start a filing system on your computer as a backup so all your files are there labelled correctly. So for assignments, your teacher will set you assignments with um, deadlines and dates of when they would like the work completed. 
when they set an assignment, you'll be notified via the post section of Teams. Okay. Now, it will be able to tell you what, what assignment you've got and when it is due. And that is all just here where I'm hovering the arrow. Uh, you'll be taken to the assignment. You'll be able to access the materials for the assignment by clicking on the resources, which will automatically load it up in an online version. So, as I said before, download your own copy and type straight onto it. We wanted to upload Word documents to save you the hassle of having to convert PDFs, which are non-editable from the actual portal itself. So just be mindful. If you do accidentally edit over a document, just let your teacher know, they can delete it and upload a fresh one. Make sure that you do save your assignment. Don't complete all the work and then just close because you need to save it. Save it into your own documents on your home computer or in your OneDrive that you have access to from the Aldar Academies. Okay, you may miss the notification of a post if there's lots of chats and lots of collaboration happening on the post section. So by clicking on assignments in each of your class, it will tell you what you've got left to complete and what you've already submitted and if there's anything outstanding. And just be mindful that the teachers are checking, they are working normal school hours and they're uploading resources and marking your work and giving you feedback. All right, so make sure you keep up with um, the normal workload and don't let too many assignments stack up for you to have to complete all in one go. Just keep on with the assignments as and when they are set. Okay, this is just an example of what one of my team's uh, platforms looks like. This is groups that I am in where I collaborate with other colleagues. And also I've got eyesight onto most of your classes that you're linked into, especially at Key Stage 4 just to make sure that you are all where you should be ahead of your summer series exams. But for Key Stage 3, heads of departments and your year leaders will be checking in on all of the classes to check that you are accessing. Now our tech team support will be running a report of activity so they can see that you've logged in um, and how long you have spent accessing the home learning. It's really important that you don't just view this as extra time off or homework because from the 22nd, okay, teachers will be there during the normal school hours for you to access. Um, we're mindful that you may not access it in the morning or the afternoon and we understand that different families have different circumstances. So please just make sure that you're checking in with your teams, accessing the work you need to, completing it and uploading it for teachers to assess, mark and record. So any questions? please do get in touch. Make sure that you can access Teams and your OneDrive. Make sure you've got access to your emails. And if there's any connectivity problems at all, you can email your class teacher, your year lead, um, myself, Mr. North, or our wonderful tech team who are working very hard behind the scenes to make sure that our online learning um, is purposeful, useful, but fun and engaging. Okay, good luck and any questions? please do get in touch with us. Thank you for listening.